Hey, 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 I wanted to do this video on this Brandon Lawson again. Article I found, this happened to be done in 2018. Uh, now this is something that I like to do because people like to come on and comment and say, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, you read everybody's. Yeah, I'm reading everybody's articles. And sometimes the articles change. Sometimes the articles come up with something new, something different, or something not even there. And, um, this <clears throat> goes on to say, now it was someone from San Angelo. I think it might have been the newspaper or something that did this, but what I, I looked up San Angelo, and that thing's way off from where this guy was, and I don't know why they even put that in there. Oh, north of San Angelo, it was like they were saying the town was near that place, but it wasn't. Because I looked up on the map and it's way down beyond even, I think, where he originally came from. And it's like, why they put that in there it confused me until I started <clears throat> thinking, oh, it's just, yeah, just a paper and they want to get there. It's pretty much they want to get their name out there uh, where their town is, right? But... This one has the, shows about the grandmother, a picture, I don't know where it went, it was on there when I first looked, but <laughs> some reason it ain't coming up, but it goes on, of course, saying what happened that night in the last whereabouts. And I already went over, you know, talking to his father. But this one doesn't say, hey, go to your, go back home or stay somewhere. You know, I think his father said in the original one I read that, or one of the ones I read that he said, go back home and make amends or whatever with your wife. You know, go around, cool down, something like that. But it doesn't say that here. It goes right into him calling his brother. Now, when it goes into telling them how you, the Mexicans in the neighborhood are chasing them, are you hallucinating, he says. And they were talking, and they showing this of the uh, Texas or whatever, and the calling back and forth. Ah. Uh, yeah, goes over to get over his brother's house to get the gas can. This one does mention, you know, he doesn't have no money, I think. So he left the, the can in the truck. Uh, then it goes into the, you know, running into the field. He's bleeding. Call 911. And I guess they were going over the brother's phone, of course, with the messages. I mean, it goes on to say what it says in the phone call. But then it goes into all this. 1251 called Brandon and left a voicemail. 1251 Brandon called. Loft in, but she didn't answer. You know, 12.52, Kyle's wife called Brandon and called again. 12.54, Kyle called Brandon. Brandon called his neighbor. 12.57, Brandon called Kyle and called again. The neighbor called three times. Kyle called Brandon. You know, all this, all these phone calls back playing phone tag. And the dispatcher at the nursing facility called Brandon back. Trying to get him more, you know, 109, Brandon called Kyle three times. She left a voicemail, but this is what I don't understand. 
if he called the dispatch and the dispatch was the last one to talk to him, how the hell did Brandon call Kyle three times? Kyle called Brandon three times. By 1.15, Brandon called Kyle twice. The last calls he made from his phone. All calls made to his phone began going straight to voicemail. So, I mean... And 104 calling the dispatcher, so between 109 and 119, he's <clears throat> obviously still running from the people chasing him. I think people are chasing him. I think that right. He got into a bad drug deal. They got pissed off because, you know, if calling them Mexicans, the Mexican mafia. You know, <clears throat> you can't go about screwing around with drug dealers. So when they one day bring money and you ain't got it. I've been around that stuff all my life. Met real live bikers from the Hells Angels. You know, I met people that came to my father's house. You know, my mother and father separated. He moved into Lemonster. And, yeah, there was a guy that came up to the door banging on it. I answered it, asking, you know, for my brother. And <laughs> now this is a funny story. I have, to, I have to throw it in. But it wouldn't have been funny if this guy did something. But my father's girlfriend at the time walked to the door. And the guy's like, so-and-so owes me a dime. Owes me money. F yeah, owes me a dime. <laughs> and... <laughs> and I was standing off to the side. My room was, like, right next to the front door. So if you were standing straight ahead and, and looked at the right door right there, that's my room, right? I mean, I walked over there, and I'm watching this guy stand at the door. <laughs> And she go, oh, he owned you a dime? Okay. So this woman literally go gets her purse, pulls out a dime, and hands it to him. The guy smacks it out of her hand. <laughs> no, he owes me a dime bag. I guess the guy paid him. I think he owed the dime. And the guy paid him but never gave him the dime bag, right? <laughs> But these people, they don't mess around. No, he did owe them a freaking thing. I think he said he owes me a dime bag, but the woman took it as a dime. Owes me for a dime bag, yeah. And she thought it was a dime. That's why, yeah, that's what it was. So, I mean, Jesus Christ, these people don't F around, all right? So, I mean, if he happened to just get into the wrong crowd, hey. It's sad to say, but what got me on this story, the last gas station before Bronte is in San Angelo. Now, God damn it, like I said, this town is friggin' way off, way off. So, I mean, whether this kid friggin', um, whether or not he... You know, was just in that, in that, um, stage. We didn't even have, didn't even have time to look at that gas cage if he's getting chased. And that's what it sounds like it is. He just didn't have that time. He didn't look at the gas, because, yeah, when you got people chasing you, if they're flashing guns, which I know damn well this person did, because you heard it shoot in the background. So, yeah, you, you freaking got, <laughs> you ain't going to be sitting down, oh, jeez, I need gas. No. And that's San Angelo, whatever, Angelo, what the hell? I can't believe the distance. And, yeah, that guy must have been hauling ass to make his gas just shoot down like that. And, uh. I don't know who this Neil is. Had responded to plenty of calls. 
People running out of gas, maybe it's the cop when he arrived, bringing his pickup truck. Brandon wasn't there, but Kyle was just pulling up. Now, still the bizarre of this. I can see you, I'm right here, Kyle said. Brandon told him, although he couldn't see his brother anywhere. You know, this is Kyle saying, where the hell are you? And they're yet talking on the phone. And, yeah, I, over in the woods. I mean, in any case, if this call happened, that means he ditched the people that were chasing him for a few minutes. And when they noticed the cop and his brother leave, yeah, they, they hopped on him. And they got him out of there quick. And talking about this warrant. No, the reason why he didn't come out, maybe. I mean, maybe who the hell that them people could have been around him. I mean, it's just nuts to even think that, uh, He could have just been hiding for a warrant. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it could be possible. But why, if you were being chased, did he not jump out and say, help, help, and not even care about the warrant? Unless he thought that he got away from these people. So the only thing I can say, he thought he must have got, because right, the timeline shows it, he had at least 20 minutes, or <clears throat> at least 16 minutes <clears throat> from the time he called 911 and the shot was fired in there to get away from these people, right? And they were probably out there because they heard the cops, and he thought he was safe. But they in the, unless <laughs> he was already dead, and you know what? Ghost calls have been made. I mean, I'll tell you, when you got someone saying, yeah, I had a ghost call me, you better believe it. And that's my last thought and theory on this. He could have been dead, somehow made that call through the grave, through the spirit world. That has happened. That has happened. And that's the only thing I can think of that could have happened. Because he's calling like, see you, get me out of here, right? But he's dead. The spirit sees him. And that's the thing when I think happened too. Whoever was chasing him had him dead already. Because they were shooting at him. You heard it. Ghost call. That's the last thing on earth that could have happened right here. And when he kept calling and calling his brother's name, you know, <laughs> no answer. He was already dead. Right here, I hollered and screamed my brother's name, and he never came out. So, I mean, that could have been a straight up send chills and your, your hair on your back of your neck stand up thinking of that. He was already dead, and he's calling his brother still. That frantic in the spirit world, you could be that way too. Oh, little bass, goddamn squirrel going in my shed. Son of a yeah, brother. I gotta make something to keep that bass it out. <laughs> but, uh, so I mean, anyways, and the reason why I wanted to make this was because. Yeah, I mean, it goes to say is Kyle decided to drive away, pack up the road, because, yeah, I suppose, I, I guess he had his kid. And if his brother would come out once the deputy left, but he had to leave. He had his kid, I guess. 45 minutes he stayed. But we're really... Gets me on this, and this is why I wanted to make this video. Is because, uh, what the cops said 
his brother did. And this is where another person, you know, yelled at me and told me, shut up, I don't know what I'm talking about. Because when you have, when, and I, this is why I like doing these articles. Because if something says something, or something's missing something, or something's there, was there, well, guess what? I said in a video about his brother, you know, I think I said something like, why did he take so long to get there? Why did he go talk here? Why did, why did he go take a shower? Well, somebody took it. Yeah, the girlfriend took a shower. I think he said he went in one article to take a shower. I mean, if your brother's down or something, you get the hell up, you get the hell out and go there right now. I mean, if that was me, I'd have been on the phone, right? I'd have drove there. I wouldn't be knocking on no door to talk to no wife. I'd grab the can, get my ass out there. He's claiming there's people after him. And I wouldn't do these all in and out stops. I would have got the hell out there to see what the hell was going on. I wouldn't have waited. I wouldn't have hesitated. I wouldn't have done all this stupid crap. I mean, <laughs> I'm sorry. I tell it like it is. And everything that I read in that last article, like, he did this and he did that and he went over here and he went there. And he kept calling and calling. All the times he called, he could have been driving out there. He could have went to that house, threw the gas can, start driving. You know, screw all this other talking. If you want to get something done, you want to know what's going down, you got to get your ass out there immediately. And, hey, someone's probably going to rag on me about this video because, hey, I tell it like it is. I'm sorry. I mean, I feel for these people. I'm, I'm, I'm bad, man. I can't imagine anybody ever going through this crap. Anybody. Unless it was someone I seriously hated. But I'll tell you, talking about starting a new life. And I wanted to show this one thing because uh, they even went out there with a yeah the thermal imaging thing camera that that takes the body and shows it. <clears throat> that was the cop. But what I really wanted to show was the lie detector test. This, this one goes on. Where the hell does it go? I mean, even back then, they said the drought right here. Everything was like dead. There was a bad drought that year. So if there was any bodies to be found, you'd be finding them. In that area and they didn't find crap that's why I said someone took his body and dumped it somewhere else in Texas that's a huge state god damn right you got anywhere to go in that place Here is they asked this Kyle if he did anything to his brother. And they said I passed the one on harming and tried to say the first one was faulty because I had coughed a few times during the test. So Don't even say what the first question was. They asked whether he had hurt his brother or given him a ride somewhere. Kyle eventually requested a polygraph test. They said I passed the one on harming and tried to say the first one was faulty because I had coughed. I mean, yeah, if you're getting something like that and you got a cough, yeah, but I didn't ever know that coughing can interrupt that, but I'm sure it could because all the, the nerves in your system and your... <clears throat> like say so, yeah, you're making your um, heartbeat jump when you, <clears throat> right? So, 
I'm not saying the guy did anything to his brother. I don't think he did. I, all I say on this guy is he didn't get there in time enough. He did too much stuff in between than just to throw that gas can and get the hell out there. He probably could have ran some people over and get out there and smack someone around or run them over if he tried to get shot. If they were going to shoot him and save his brother, but he just did everything a little bit too, you know, eh. But I'm not here to friggin' point fingers at his brother. I mean, he's, I could just imagine what he's going through. Any of them, anybody that misses, has a missing person in their family, whatever, I, get, I feel you. Because to see that person, to hear that person, that is a haunting thing when you hear their voice on the phone. Especially when the kid got a call from his brother right there in that area and his brother never came out. I guarantee that was a spirit phone call. And that just sends chills down your spine. And that guy's got to live with that for the rest of his life, but... <clears throat> I mean, th this is what I say. These articles always come up with something. Always, and before, in one of the articles, it said he passed the... The exam of flying colors. Didn't say nothing about this, so... This is why I do stuff like this. I mean, yes, I throw in my own thoughts and theories. But still, when you got these writings come out like this... And yeah, and there it is. Go, San and, and Jello. That's the, uh... I think the newspaper place. You can subscribe or sign in, but... It's just the facts. I mean, and if they ain't right... You got to do all these kind of videos to try and make it right. Or you got to throw in them thoughts and theories of why this was said. Why was that not mentioned? Or, it got, oh, that was turned around to this. And this is why I do this. Because when I look in the articles, I know there was articles out there that I read. And now they have disappeared. And that pisses me off. And before I started doing screenshots... But now I can save the article and just do a straight out video. I didn't, before I didn't have them screenshots. I didn't know about them. They were there, but I just didn't, I never knew about screenshots on phones. So a lot of these articles that I read on things and I could have saved and people saying, where'd you get this information from? It's like, I got it from this, but it ain't there. And you know, then I look like an idiot. But now I'm starting to do this. And when things are misplaced or this and that, that's right. I got my back up. But, like I said, I give my full condolence to this family. His brother, his wife, his kids. I mean, forgive me for saying what I say. You, you don't have to, but you sometimes the truth is unbearable. You know, something happened, and I did mention something, and then it comes up later. Well, it's only called being a detective type thing. Because sometimes you got to think the worst. And sometimes that's what it means. you got to think of all scenarios on the table. You just can't put that one that he did this. Never did that. You can't. You just can't do it that way. you got to come out with all thoughts and theories. you got to come out with all this kind of information that rolls through someone's head. And you got to put them on the table. you got to put it if he did it this way or if it went that way. you got to do it that. And if it means... You got to put the worst in there because he had a bad habit. Nothing you can do about it. The only thing you can do, hope this information and someone picks it up and reads it and thinks, well, maybe we should try it that way. It will bring back the best and find his, you know, whereabouts. Till that next video, be safe, take care, always beware. You don't know who's out there going to come after you. Out.